In this lesson, we're going to learn how to copy features and paste them onto another sketch. The file that I have open is called copyfeature.ipt, and it can be found in your Chapter 8 Exercise folder. To copy a feature, you can either copy it from the browser by moving your cursor over it, right-click, copy, or to select it in the Graphics window, you can change your priority to Feature Priority, and then here in the graphics window you'll see that I can select it and then right click copy and once that information is copied to the clipboard you can do a control V from the keyboard or right click paste and now you'll see as I move my cursor on the screen it's going to the different planes that the cursor is over so in this case I'm gonna pick a point to the right but before I do that You'll also notice that on the dialog box, there's a couple different options that we have here. For the paste features, I can just do the selected feature, or also the dependent, in this case, would be the fillets. So in this case, I'm just going to keep it at selected. And then for parameters, do I want it to be independent or dependent? So if it's independent, any change done to the first sketch, in this case, will have no bearing on the copied feature. If it's dependent, anything that's done to the first feature will also reflect the copied feature. So in this case, I'll go back and keep it as independent. I'm going to select a point on the plane. And at this point, I can also grab the arrows, and I can move it around if needed. Or if I go back and grab the arc, I could go back and do a rotate on that. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on Finish. And now let's also do the opposite. Again, I'm going to come back and paste it since that information is still on the clipboard. But let's change it to dependent and dependent for the parameters as well. In this case, I'm going to pick a point in the left hand. Sketch, click finish. And you can see that our geometry looks pretty good. I can come back here if need be, make that sketch active. In this case, I would probably want to go back and remove those dependent lines and then maybe go back and redimension where that geometry should be in place. And when you're done with that, just go ahead and click on update. But now let's see what happens when I go back and make a change to the first feature that we copied. In this case, that was going to be extrusion 3. So I'm going to make that sketch active and I'm going to change the square to 15 millimeters click update and you'll see that the dependent feature got updated where the independent one did not. I can always go back and make a change to that if you wanted this one to be independent from the browser just go ahead and make that sketch active select your dimensions in this case it's relationship back to D9 so if I wanted to I could say I want that to be 14 and click update and it's now longer dependent it's independent of the original and of course you can go back and do just the opposite if I wanted to I could go back and re return that relationship in this case let's change it back to D9 so now any change done to that will also reflect the copied feature here